Well, there are new calls now for former Secretary Leon Panetta to testify before Congress following new revelations from his memoir that could impact the ongoing Benghazi investigation. In his recent interviews, including with our own Bill O'Reilly, the former Defense Secretary calls into question the initial reports that this attack in Benghazi came from a group of protesters. We told the president that there is an attack that's going on, that, that uh, terrorists are involved in the attack. Okay, let me stop you there. And that uh, as a the result of that, we have to respond to fine. it. Fine. Told him that terrorists were involved in this attack. But when Bill asked President Obama back in February whether Mr. Panetta had told him that this was a terrorist attack, here's what the president said. Did he tell you, Secretary Panetta, it was a terrorist attack? You know, what he told me was that there was an attack on our compound. He didn't, tell, he didn't use the word terror? You know, in, in the heat of the moment, Bill, what folks are focused on is what's happening on the ground. Do we have eyes on it? How can we make sure our folks are yes, secure? I just want to get this so, on the record. Did I, he tell you it was a terror attack? Bill, and what I'm, I'm answering your question. What he said. And you heard it there. Joining me now, Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz. He's a member of the House Oversight Committee. He has been urging the White House to give full disclosure about the Benghazi attack. Congressman, good to see you tonight. And so there seems to be a disparity between how Leon Panetta is describing the communication and how the president is describing it. This is not an insignificant uh, piece of information. I mean, the White House and, and their, their whole operation wanted everybody to believe that this was just a YouTube video and people were walking by and it got out of control. That's a little different than terrorists. And, you know, one of the big mysteries that we have is where was the president? What was he doing during that, that whole attack? Uh, what were the orders that he gave? And so to hear the Secretary of Defense say that there was a terrorist attack involved, that, that begs a whole lot, a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. So the president describes it differently than the way Leon Panetta described it. And then the president, of course, for weeks refused to say that it was a terrorist attack. The most he said was it was an act of terror yeah. the day after uh, in the Rose Garden, but then went on for weeks thereafter to, to decline to say that it was a terrorist attack. What does all of this show us? Well, remember the context. This was five days after the Democratic National Convention, where he was out there famously saying, you know, that the terrorists were on the run, that uh, Al Qaeda was on the run, and they were decimating him. It was the heat of the election. Uh, and they went on for weeks and they perpetuated this myth, the thing that was never, ever true. And then for the Secretary of Defense, I do think that Leon Panetta must come before the Select Committee. Let him go before Trey Gowdy in the Select Committee, and I think we'll, we'll get closer. We're inching there, but we'll get closer and closer to the truth and how this administration misled the, the world and the American people. What else did Leon Panetta say in his interviews that you find relevant to the Benghazi uh, Select Committee that's investigating this issue? I still think it begs a lot of questions. For instance, I'm not aware of any United States military asset outside of Libya that was ordered to go into Benghazi and engage in the fight. And if you recall, in real time, when this happened, Benghazi happened, the, the Secretary of Defense, it took him a few days to get out there, but then said that, well, you don't put your military in, the, in harm's way without knowing what's going on. The military just went nuts about this. Days later, he said, well, we couldn't have gotten there in time. Mm -hmm. I beg to differ. I think they could have gotten in there in time. I don't think they tried to engage in that fight. And that's why there's more questions than ever, even after the book and the interview. Have you had the chance to interview Leon Panetta yet? No, no, never, never been available. It's been a big stiff arm for the Oversight Committee and others to try to get to the bottom of this information. It's really and, extraordinary and that you, can't, you haven't stories. gotten access why... to him, but he writes a book speaking no. to Benghazi. Do you think he'll come before you now, now that he's been so vocal about it with Bill O'Reilly and with a publisher? Well, I'm not on the select committee, but I guarantee you that Trey Gowdy, he knows how to do this. He's the right person, has the right temperament, and he will get after it. And I think he, I don't know how you go through this without bringing Leon Panetta before you. He's, he's the Secretary of Defense when this is happening. There was some testimony about you know, Mr. Panetta. Do we have the soundbite where he is responding to the allegations um, about a, an alleged stand down order? Do we have that soundbite? All right, let's play it. I think it, if, in fact, there was a 30 minute delay, I think uh, that it is important for the Congressional Committee to look into to that find issue out why, and correct? determine what, what happened. So he's talking about a 30-minute delay in dispatching uh, the team that would wind up at the original compound to perform a rescue mission. He's now suggesting that Congress needs to look into the matter. 
I sat in the room with Colonel Gibson, who's a very patriotic person, and he told us point blank that yes, they were told to do that. Now, the military will say stand down is a very technical term. It means, hey, you can basically, you know, stand down and go to the movies. They were told to delay. And why did that delay happen? I mean, we've been told that no assets were ever delayed in moving forward. But I have heard Colonel Gibson in person answering my questions. This did happen, Megan. And for the Secretary of Defense to now back us up and say the Congressional Committee, the Select Committee, and Trey Gowdy need to get after that, it does signal that there's a lot more there than they would have ever let, in, let on beforehand. Well, and this is an investigation that's been widely criticized, especially by many Democrats, as unnecessary, overkill, pointless, political. And now you basically have the former Secretary of Defense, uh, the former CIA chief, who's a Democrat, saying more investigation is needed. i got to run. Congressman Chafe, it's good to see you, sir. Thanks, Megan. Well, former Secretary Panetta says the president made bad calls on both Syria and Iraq. But up next, a former vet has a very different take on what's happening here.